don't laugh, so... Okay. That actually brings up a, an interesting point. The, did you hit record? Yes, I did. Okay. Shut up. I was so, just curious. Well, no, actually, don't shut up. But, yeah. So... Because <laughs> then you'd be talking to yourself. Which I do that. I know. <laughs> it's strange when I answer. Okay. Back on topic. So, anyway... <laughs> I'm sorry, I really don't help Chuck stay on topic. I... No, you really don't. Because <laughs> I'm the same way. And see, there we go again. Sorry. Anyways. <laughs> so anyway, the saying, oh, and I, I have issue with a lot of sayings. The saying, uh, you're half, you're half left. left. Right. Okay. Even if you're half left, you she's still have a right side. Yeah. Everything has a right and a left. Everything. Doesn't matter if it's half. If it's half, then the center becomes. The right half. I thought you were going to have issue with me saying I'm all right, and I'm like, I was just going to say, well, that's what I say when I don't really want to talk to the person. <laughs> well, if you if you take it as the literal and change the word all right, a l r i g h t to a l l, you know, separate the words, word. two words, all right, you could never actually be all right yeah. anyway. So this joke is kind of stupid. <laughs> It's a moot point. Yes. I love that word. Moot. 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 Yes. <laughs> it's one of my favorite words. Shut up! Awesome. Don't hit me, you abusive... Bat. I didn't hit bat? you. Did I hit you your say bat. bat? I've been calling her mom that all day. Okay. Well, you called her a hoe earlier, so... So, I have a question for you. What? Actually. Um, in the course of your, your linguistics uh, training... Um, I don't know. Are you are you actually going to take like a, a speech course? I don't know. I, I would assume so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like public, some type of either interpersonal interpersonal communication or public speaking or something like that. Oh. That that would enable you to, in fact, hey, speak <laughs> in she crowd. Speaks. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true because we did have uh, quite an extensive conversation yesterday, so. Um, we had a nice little Anigail. conversation about hair dye that you missed. <laughs> oh, really? I missed yeah. that? Awesome. She has that and black face. I yeah. told her that you dyed my hair once and kind of freaked me out. I did dye your hair once? <gasps> yeah. Really? Yeah. I looked here. Yeah. Really? Oh. Because you asked me if spots were normal. Because you got like a spot of hair dye on my ear or something. Oh, and yeah. For some reason, I interpreted that as... I had like a bald spot or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I had that moment of, oh god! <laughs> Lovely. Ah, good times, good times. So, uh, Anigo, um, what do you think about, you know, things, life, in general? <laughs> Life's tough, get a helmet. <laughs> Yay! Oh, oh, can we talk about the, I got a topic. Yeah. Um, the whole 2012... Apocalypse theory. Just because I feel like since it is 2012, we kind of should touch on the subject. Any topic ideas? <laughs> She's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Nothing at all? Cafeteria food. Can Anything you talk about cafeteria <laughs> food? Anything that interests you, that you're curious about, you would like to see discussed and or researched? Either. I'll do the research. You won't have to do anything. <laughs> I say we'll all research, and then we'll compare research. Because I have a lot of time on my hands at the library. Yeah, that's kind of what we do. You know, I love the fact that my boss encourages me surfing the internet at the library. He actually told me that my first day. He was like, I don't care if you surf the internet in your downtime. He's like, that's not really encouraging, though. Well, yeah. Saying we we would like for you to. Oh, he he actually did say that. Oh, okay. He's like you find a lot of interesting stuff that actually you end up using at the library because somebody's gonna just give out random crap anyway. Lovely. Lovely. That's my belly. Mm -hmm. It was I just, there. I just want you to know that's my belly. Okay. You violated you, me. You violated me. You hit me. my nose. Yeah, and? It's my nose. Why did you look shocked? 
<laughs> like you wouldn't expect that from me. He was he picked my nose and then was shocked that you know that you were offended. No, <laughs> you were shocked that like snot came out or something. No, I wasn't shocked. I expected it. I mean, it's a nose. <laughs> so it's I do remember why he freaked him out one time because he went to pick my nose. Like, you don't want to do that. I had a nose bleed today, and he was like, "Ooh." Yeah, no, I don't want to touch your blood. I remember. <laughs> I remember once you freaked out about earwax. You you had a freak out about earwax and germs and. This is the kind of random stuff I remember. Okay then. Oh, I, I'm not surprised because I'm terrible germaphobe. Because I have seen things under a microscope that you do not want to see. You really don't. You, ignorance is bliss. Love it. Love it. Love it. You like that, that little creepy voice? <laughs> Your exorcist voice. <laughs> we are legion. No. No, I thought you were going to say we all float down here. We're like, that's a different they movie. They all float down here. <laughs> it's yes. a different movie. Yes, I love that movie. Actually, I like parts of that movie. I don't like the whole movie. The ending is stupid. Yeah, the ending is stupid. It's, good. it's a giant space spider Although, or something. What, what I don't you know do what the it? hell that thing is. Well, actually, no, I can't. Get a can of fucking raid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> Come on. I was going to say it's based off a book. You can't really change the ending, but... Now in Hollywood, yeah, yeah you, you can. can. You can. And I haven't read all of the books, so yeah, the books are right. Stephen King gets really wordy. I'm not a, I'm not a real huge Stephen King fan myself. Cell is really good. Cell, the book, gave me nightmares. I like the movie. I never read. That. No, it's read that's a totally different movie. The Cell mm -hmm. with Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Space. Oh no, you're talking about the one with the cell yeah. phone. Oh okay. Yeah. I say the Cell. I thought was. The Cell was this it, also a Stephen King. It may be, I don't know, but... I thought, maybe. Maybe not. Hell, I don't know. I like The Shining, the book and the movie. But I'm a bigger fan of the TV, made-for-TV version. What? Yeah. No, I Jack, know, it's I'm all fan. about Jack Nicholson. You saw Josh agreed with me, though. We yeah, were Josh is about retarded, it. so, you know, you, there's no accounting for taste. What? You have terrible taste. I was like, you were talking about him. I was like, dude. Well, he has terrible taste in movies. You have terrible taste in guys. Who set us up? To get laid, not to get <laughs> married, okay? I'm just well, saying. Well, we didn't get married, so. So. Winner. <laughs> well, I win. <laughs> so there you go. I expect you all to I fucking move one. in together. <laughs> just saying. So. Honestly, I didn't either. But there we were. I do have. I need topics. I have, so far, topics I have. Serial killers. Which I'm really looking forward to that one. Yes. Classic movies. Bad movies. Okay, what are we cl classifying as classic movies? Are we what, talking we'll about... That, then that'll be part of the discussion. But, Shut up. <laughs> so... I like to plan ahead. Zombie Apocalypse. Of course. <laughs> Gary Busey. We're Gary doing, Busey in the zombie apocalypse. I was going to say we're going to do another Gary Busey. What about Jake Busey? Can we talk about him too? Because he's kind of cool. Yeah, well, the, yeah well, let's, we'll include that. I just want to make the sure whole that... The Gary Busey world there. I want to make sure that was safe. Good food and bad food. Um, odd piercings. That was a Josh topic. Viral videos. Dark matter versus antimatter. Uh, the theory of relativity, dreams and or dreaming, Alt alternate and or parallel universes, string theory, uh, open season on stupid people, and uh, 2012. So what interests do you have? I mean, we know what are you, none. <laughs> You're so full of shit. We I didn't know. Put down religion. I figured you would put down religion. I considered it. Um, we kinda, I think that's kind of a touchy topic, though. So. Well, I I don't really consider it a touchy topic because I I, I don't to, think in this group it's as a touchy long topic. as you don't get you know all judgmental and whatnot. What's that? I cut myself from box of books today. Oh, I'm sorry. I think it's funny. <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> that's funny. So, either way, fill in whichever applies. 
That's my clicky pen. I like clicky pens. I click them. I think we should do one. Of, I think we should have Kevin Smith as a topic. Oh, yeah. Because it's Kevin Smith, and <laughs> he's just good awesome. Enough. I don't know who that is. Um, have you ever seen Clerks or Mallrats? Ever heard of Jay and Silent it, Bob? He's, he's the writer Bob. director. His new movie, Red State. Well. You heard me talking to Chuck yeah. about it last night. Yeah, I need to check that out. I, I honestly, I watched it and I was like, "Really, Kevin Smith? Hey, <laughs> hey, don't trust Kevin Smith." No, I did. I wasn't. I, I was say. just kind of surprised that that was the point he wanted to make in this movie. I just didn't well, realize. I mean, look at Dogma. That's true. Yeah, you know, I mean, he's. I mean, he was. Well, uh, okay, I guess I'm kind of surprised that he would feel so adamantly about the subject to actually make it the basis of one of his movies. I just, I guess, I didn't realize he was that, you know, pro, what am I trying to say? Pro, you know, free to live your life however you want, I guess. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Because he's Catholic? No, I just... Some people... Racist. No, what I mean is, you know, some people in Hollywood are... make themselves very clear, and then... are on being... I'm just gonna say pro-homo. Well, his brother's gay. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, and he and his brother are like best friends. See, you know way more about Kevin Smith than I do, so... Because I listen to when the man speaks. I haven't watched any Kevin Smith interviews. You should, uh, you, you really should. You should look stuff up online. Uh, Which I probably will also now, there's now the, I'm actually really in. The, uh, the, there's, uh, he's got a DVD out. The It's a, An Evening with Kevin Smith. I almost and watched that on Netflix. I almost watched that on Netflix. And I, have, uh, I thought it was... See, I'm not real big on, like, stand-up comedy specials. I have to be really interested in the... Particular comedian. This isn't stand up comedy. See, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, no. It's so not it's like an actual like sit down discussion. Well, not sit down, but yeah, like him voicing his opinion. Mm -hmm. huh. Talking about you know just telling stories and the, the like, audience asks questions. Kind of like inside the actor's studio. Have you ever seen that show? Yeah, but that host really. Great I don't like the host. Saying, oh I don't like God. the host. I don't I know like, his name, but he is fucking. Um, he is crazy, dude. I mean, he freaks me the hell out. I don't remember. Like he is like number four on my sniper list. But I like the whole... Spot. You know who number one is? Me. What? No. But I like, the, I like the whole concept and the setup, and my two favorite episodes were they interviewed the Simpsons cast as the Simpsons cast, and then as the Simpsons characters. <laughs> it's amazing. And then the episode with Johnny Depp. I find Johnny Depp extremely fascinating. And Rob Zombie. By fascinating, you mean sexy. <laughs> Sexy and fascinating. <laughs> but I also find Rob Zombie really fascinating. And sexy? No. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, I don't think he's like a fugly dude or anything, but no, I don't think he's sexy. I want to sit down and have a conversation with him. I want to pick his brain, right. so to speak. Because I, I feel like he'd be a very interesting he's person. Really he's extremely intelligent. And I was hmm. out, Did I tell I you um, about Esprita's version of Rob Zombie's Halloween and the fourth disc is a four and a half, or the third disc is a four and a half hour documentary on the making of Halloween? No. I got it out in my eyes. I did not know that. From concept, I mean, he turned the camera on when, basically when he decided he was going to do this. Kind of like this. Yeah. Because I, I like to, as part of the, the webcast, is kind of like the behind the scenes, yeah. you know, it's like But the, yeah, he turned the, it, basically he started filming the day he decided he wanted to remake Halloween through the very last day of, shoot, of reshoots. I mean, you get to see everything. Right on. And I did not realize... Because you know a lot of directors, they say they're super involved in their movie, and they're really not. How do they not be? They leave... They have, like, no say in their 
the food is ready. Yeah! I know a lot of directors don't really have a ton of say. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> or don't really care about having a ton.